days away. When you wake up after your lovely sleep, we will be one hand away from the Le Royal Albert Hall. No? Yeah? So the event is a Music for Youth Prom, which is an annual event, a three-day event, and we are providing one of the massed ensembles for the middle night, the Tuesday night. On Tuesday, we are going to be performing in the Royal Albert Hall as part of the Music for Youth Proms, which is an opportunity for us to showcase the best of the young music makers from Northamptonshire and working with our partners from Peterborough Music Hub and from Rutland Music. Our piece has been composed by an alumni of ours, Benjamin Till, about the River Nen. The source of the River Nen is in Northamptonshire, in Badby, and it's a composition that depicts the river from source to sea. I have made a career for myself out of creating pieces of music based on unusual locations, but I always wanted to do something about a river. And for me, the Nen was the obvious choice because I grew up in Hyam Ferrells on the Nen and the Nen was a massive part of my, my childhood. process I decided I wanted to be inspired by the net so I thought the best way for me to do that would be to walk the entire length of the river from Badby all the way to the Bosch and I did it in five and a half days solidly and I stayed in guest houses on the Nen all the way through. Along the way he was collecting sounds and stories, he was asking people to give them their recollections of the river, their personal associations with it. Uh, and he actually came and worked with the young people as well and told them what he wanted to hear, how he wanted them to perform what he'd written, but also to get their ideas about it. He came for a two day course with us and kind of worked on specific areas that he had a vision in his head of what it would sound like and how we would create it but to write that down in music was a little bit trickier. It was a two-way process. He was giving to them, but, but they were giving back to him as well. And that's the best sort of compositional relationship. With Numpa, we do our rehearsals, we do our concerts, but we never really have anything like this happen and, and someone come in and to kind of have their vision in their head then sung through us. So it, it was a really, really new experience. It was deeply inspiring. I realised that the Nen has a very nice perfumey smell and the sounds that the river makes as it goes over a weir, the sounds of red kites flying overhead, sparrows fluttering in trees. It, it was like I gained every single sense back. It suddenly made me aware of nature again. It stretched to Northampton and that was where the music school was. And that's where I found myself, that's where I discovered who I was. So the excitement I used to feel as we followed the Nen all the way from Hyam to Northampton through Wellingborough through Earls Bar, the river was constantly part of my journey to Northampton. You go to a hill, 
and there's nothing there. There's just a little trickle of water. Then you get to the wash where it is tidal river. And it's really that journey in between, how it moves and how it grows and where it goes. And that's the journey, I think, that the music tells from that tiny beginnings to the sea, basically. What has been a privilege is being able to bring attention to this river. It's the 10th longest in the country. People know about all the other rivers around the same length, but they don't necessarily know about the name. I love it when I do one of these pieces and people start to look at the river in a different way. So when they go past the name, they'll get excited. Our chief executive is, is very open to saying, this is the biggest thing that we have done. It's really scary and uh, a lot of pressure, but I'm really glad that we're able to offer this in partnership with our two other hubs. Nenscape have been wonderfully supportive. That's been great. NPAT, it's where I studied. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be a composer. It's as simple as that. One of our partners is Nenscape, and one of their remits is to open up the Nen to the public and to get it more well known. So I suppose the music is helping that. I've walked it myself and it's a wonderful river to walk. So the piece features the County Youth Choir and a massed choir of 450 people, the County Youth Orchestra, the County Youth Brass Band marching on as King John's Army. We're also going to hear from our wonderful young oboists who represent the geese at Fothering Hay. And we're going to hear from members of Dustin Centre who are playing wine glasses and bottles. The whole thing is going to feature an interactive water-powered sculptural installation which we have named Nemo and it's going to be operated by members of our Why Not Centre and our Reach the Stars team. We have just under 700 young people performing in various different capacities so yeah it came together today for the first rehearsal. So I've gone to music college and I've just come back for the NEN project and it's brilliant to just have so many like fabulous musicians hey, and such a massive piece. I'm now studying in Leeds and it was great to be invited back to perform with the orchestra and the choirs because it is a huge experience. It's a great project for Empath and there's a lot going on, it's a really good representation of NEN itself. It would go as well when we're all on our t-shirts to show the different parts of the grass, the water and the mud. We're quite excited to be performing in the Elf Hall again. Uh, this will be my fourth time. It would be great to go back again, especially with such a big orchestra with the brass band and the choir uh, and being much louder. It's always great to play with my friends and also hundreds of other new musicians and be able to play a piece that's related to where I come from is really great. It's a great opportunity. The last nine months have been so busy, so intense, but also so wonderful that we've had 1,500 students being able to experience this music. And today being the last day is a pretty special day. I'm singing the solo of Molly, which is near the end of the piece about a girl who fell in the river and drowned. Oh, wow. Yes, it's quite okay. morbid, but it's lovely. It's a lovely solo. <laughs> Obviously, we did the shorter version, and then when he's brought along this longer version, it's the stories develop so much more with it. Well, Mary Queen of Scots, she died on the banks of the River Nen, and you don't realise how much has gone on here. It's really moving, and it has been quite an experience. It'll be really sad when it's all finished. One of the most exciting things is the venue. These children who are coming here to perform, some have been here before, some live in Peterborough, they've been to the cathedral, others haven't. But we, as a group, have never performed in Peterborough Cathedral, so we need to now hear everything in the space. So the orchestra, the brass band, or the choirs. Theoretically, this building is very, very acoustic so we won't be able to play necessarily full strength because it will just be so loud. I mean, if you, I mean the size of this place, who knows what kind of sonic experience they're going to have. You know, the one at the Ferngate was quite a clear, crisp acoustic. I think there's probably just going to be these big booming rolls of sound like thunder rolling around this enormous building, which in a sense will be an experience. The piece is so long, you start off feeling one thing and you finish feeling with another. I think the most memorable bit will be the bit about Peterborough Cathedral um, with the kids all screaming. So there's a sequence in the composition of a ghostly hunt. This building was the site of a massive haunting where loads and loads of devils riding black goats sort of stormed through the building. 
and we're evoking that in this composition. What I'm hoping for is that we'll have another haunting. <laughs> I've heard two versions of it. I heard the 12 minute version um, as presented in the Royal Albert Hall in, in November. And I have to say, it took my breath away. Um, there's no other way to describe it. The energy in the singers, in the orchestra, was just phenomenal. And it really brought the river to life as a, almost as a living, breathing landscape that needs our care and attention. And this piece, the longer version, brings in all different elements of heritage from the source at Badby right through to this, this very building. So it's very exciting. I hope they're going to love it. The piece has a story to tell. It's a story they can follow, it's a story we can tell them about before they start to listen to it. It's very musically accessible, and I have to say the young people are performing it brilliantly. So brilliant music, great story to tell, fantastic surroundings. Um, it's going to be a memorable night. So our symphony orchestra plays the most amazing orchestral music, but do they do it with a 400 strong choir? No, they don't. They're doing the same things that they have always done and they're learning to do, but it's different. And I think they've really come together and enjoyed you know, putting that together. Our senior musicians, the members of the County Youth Orchestra, the members of the County Youth Choir, they're very mature musicians. They are very experienced musicians. And you can see some of them analysing the piece as they're playing it. It's a really mature and homogenous piece of musical writing. And it inspires them. Those that are trying to write for themselves will want to emulate this. Each one of them has come to it on a different level. But I guarantee that all of them will remember this for the rest of their lives. We've all grown with the piece. So from the start, with the Royal Albert Hall to now, we've all got to perform in three incredible venues. It's going to be one of those things that in 25 years when someone says, oh, do you remember then? Everyone will just start singing it. It's really good as young people to see like the whole process of a piece being composed and then to be able to like see your friends playing it and for you to sing it and then for it to all sound amazing. I think it was a really cool experience. And especially when we know that Ben's from Northamptonshire and he was in the same choir that we were in. And to see where he's got to today gives a lot of young people hope and inspiration to want to be like him in the future. The most important aspect of this entire project is the fact that we've got eight-year-olds singing who are going to look at 18-year-olds in the orchestra and think, if I practice hard, I might be able to be like them at some point. And then you've got 18-year-olds in the orchestra who may want to be composers who can look at me and go, Oh, it is possible if we work hard. So I think that there's this wonderful sense with a project like this of everyone being able to aspire to something else. Um, and I think that for me is, is, is the most important thing of all. The Royal Albert Hall performance was very exciting. It was a great showcase on a national level for the piece of music and for Neenscape. But to bring it home to just a few hundred metres from the river is just perfect. I guess Nen stays with the Northamptonshire Music School. and I'd like to release a book of some of the tunes from Nen for kids to sing so that they can learn about the river, they can learn about the folklore attached to the river. This music is written. The music is there for all to see and hear. In terms of our project, our NEN project, this is the end for us today. We're actually going to be talking to Benjamin Till about producing some material from NEN, which may then have a life beyond it, especially for choirs. Choirs are really interested in this music, so I hope that that lives on. I hope the music lives on, but um, yeah, we also need a rest. <laughs> like, we've had such a great journey, but, but um, everything comes to an end. and. and this is an amazing place to, to end our journey. For the first time ever, anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, men.
on the pathway. And when it got near me, it made a sudden stop as if to listen to me. I took a step forward, I should fall into the bottomless gulf, seen yawning all around me. 